Okay, now that you have um, your license and Trimble Virtual World installed, we are going to do a quick dive into the virtual world. Once you have installed the virtual world, you can now find it from the search bar, the Windows search bar. So just type Trimble Virtual World and it will appear. Launch it and on opening it, you will be asked to log in using your Trimble ID, so your TID, which contain the uh, virtual world license. So this is the first page you will get in the virtual world. You will see a multiple tab at the top from the world. The world are more like the sandbox. So you are free to do whatever you want. We provide you an environment where you can play from different type of scenarios. So we have a mine, if you have a, a mine, a Trimble license, a Trimble access mine or tunnel license, you will be able to access to this one. In the case, you will have the construction site, which is a really basic construction site. There is a very basic tunnel site as well, which is just a curvy tunnel. There is a building. And the more common one are the poly construction, which is um, a, a simple low poly uh, construction site, but which extend to a full city scale. There is also one which is a poly town. It's a small town with a few uh, streets and lights and all this kind of uh, asset. The poly mountain, I would call it more the middle uh, world. This is more an open space where there is forest, there is water, river, lakes, and a bit of hilly. So really a big open space for you to, to practice. Then you have the other tab, the learn tab. If you are really for the first time you join the virtual world, I will say jump on the introduction quest. The introduction quest really show you all the different control then you will have uh, to use virtual world. So how to move uh, the character and um, how to place different or select different tools and place different markers around it. Next one, so this is what we are going to do more um, on the uh, next video. We will show you how to connect the Trimble virtual world, which is the emulation side to the Trimble Access, which is a field application, the real software you will be using as a land surveyor in the field. And here you have another example, which is more like a scanning quest, where you learn about how to uh, place a scanner around, so the SX-12, and do the scanning of uh, a building, so creating a full point cloud. So this is just a little bit more advanced. So really, uh, I will say again, try the first quest number one and we will go through this one then uh, you have the quest this one is more like where you have more customized worlds you are either a professor and you need to create um, a different type of scenario this is where you will come create one we will create another video on how to create all this world and we won't go uh, too uh, too much into the depth of this one and at the end, we have mostly the setting pages. This is going to be the config to uh, connect to the virtual, to the Trimble access and uh, allow the total station, the virtual total station to communicate with the field application. As well, because uh, we know you might want uh, to uh, set a different uh, location. Right now, I'm simulating a location down in New Zealand, but you could put your latitude, longitude and elevation and that will allow you to um, be anywhere uh, in the world. Obviously, we know that different PC have a different performance, so you can change your uh, rendering quality uh, level. So fastest, that is really if you have a really standard uh, PC or a laptop, uh, you will get that. The graphic won't be as good, but it will run perfectly fine. If you want to make it a bit better, this is going to create a bit of shade in your modeling and all this kind of uh, higher rendering, but obviously will require your PC to work at a higher performance. So beautiful. And let's say um, you need to uh, remember what are your control or to use the keyboard. You can go to the control here and they will show you all the different functionalities. So from placing a marker, 
restarting a quest um, or even walk around and uh, all this kind of um, key information you want. But maybe you are using a game controller, so most of the time I'm using the Xbox controller. I might switch to the gamepad controller. So this is just showing you how does that work, okay? Remember, there might be two different types of uh, key control. When you are on the run mode, uh, this is mostly a student or you are performing some uh, open world. So from this one, the sandbox, this will be your control. But if you are more a creator, you are trying to create a world, a quest, this will be the different, the different key that you will need, okay? In the next video, we will see how to control the virtual uh, surveyor and navigate in the interface. So see you in the next one.